Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to show how to color skin digitally in Clip Studio Paint. So let's get started! You don't have to use the exact same colors as me, but if you want to, here are the RGB codes. If you click this tab right here, you can enter the RGB values. I'm using kind of a muted color palette, so if you want something different, use whatever colors you want. I start by making a new layer. I press this button to make a new layer. Make sure this new layer is under the layer your line art is on. That way you don't color over your line art. I double click the layer name and then name it Base Coloring. I select my base color with the eyedropper tool. Next I use the magic wand tool to select the area I want to color. Make sure to have select additionally selected. This makes it so you can select more than one area at a time. I like to have area scaling set to 2. This increases my selection by 2 pixels. This makes it so white pixels won't appear around the border of the line art. I also have the option all layers selected. That way the magic wand tool will select my line art while I'm on the base coloring layer. Now I select the area I want to color. Once I have the area selected, I press the fill button to color the area. Next I make another layer for shadow 1. For some reason my screen recorder won't show the layer mode menu. So when I say set the layer to multiply, I want you to click on this and then select the mode multiply. I like the way this makes shadows look. The light is going to come from the upper right. Next I select the shadow 1 layer and then press the clip that layer below button to clip it to the base coloring layer. This makes it so I can't color outside of the area. For shading I like to use the airbrush tool set to soft. If I want a soft shadow, I'll set this to 1. And if I want a shadow with a harder edge, I'll set it to 4 or 5. I usually have it set to 3. I'm often changing brush density a lot depending on how strong I want the coloring to be. I'll often have it set to around 50. Now on to the coloring! Yay! <laughs> I start by adding a harder edge shadow under his nose and a soft shadow on the left side. I'll often set my brush to transparent and use it like an eraser. I'm not sure why I do this instead of just using the eraser. <laughs> I make the brush large with a soft edge to make a gradient on the left side of his face. I add shading by the eyelids and the bridge of the nose. I also shade inside of the ears and around the lips. The hair is casting a shadow onto his forehead. Here I make layer shadow 1 not visible by pressing the I button. I do this so I can easily select the neck. That way it's easier to apply the shading. Next I make a new layer for shadow 2. 
I clip it to the base coloring layer and then I set it to multiply. I kind of repeat the process that I did for shadow 1, except I only apply color where I want to darken the shadows. The shading is kind of dark, so I make it lighter by lowering the opacity. Next, I make a new layer for Shadow 3. I clip it to the base coloring layer and then I set it to multiply. I only apply Shadow 3 where the shadows get really dark. Here I selected layer shadow 2 and use color shadow 2 to add some extra shading around the eyes. Next I make a new layer for blush. I clip it to the base coloring layer. I apply blush to the nose, cheeks, ears, and lips. I then set it to multiply and lower the opacity. It's not super noticeable, but it does make a slight difference. <laughs> I select layer shadow 3 and then use the blending tool to blend out the shadow in the ears. Next, I make a new layer for a highlight. I clip it to the base coloring layer. Since the light is coming from the right, the highlights will mostly be on the right. I apply highlights to the cheeks, right side of the nose, middle of the eyelids, lower lip, right side of the face, and on the right side of the neck. I slightly lower the opacity. This part is kind of optional and I just like the way it looks. <laughs> I make a new layer for interest. I clip it to the base coloring layer. Interest is kind of a bounce light. The light from the light source is bouncing off an object and back onto the character. I find adding a bounce light can make the picture more interesting. I lower the opacity to make the light not so strong. 
and now we're done. But before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Bonnie, Julie, Pisatera, Eduardo, AJ, Stephanie, Narichan, and Daniel. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!